What's going on YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 2 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if at any time you find yourself enjoying the content, don't forget to smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed the beginning, picked our starter, caught a few Pokemon and all that good stuff. Now we're going to be... We are going to be heading to the train station right here and into the wild area. So I am hyped right now. I am ready to go to the wild area. Here comes both Hops and my mom right here. <laughs> Telling us goodbye and all that good stuff. They're going to be kicking us out. They're like, get out of here. Go be a Pokemon trainer. And they're going to give us a set of camping gear, which we can use in the wild area and all that. We can camp up, heal up our Pokemon and all that good stuff. Play with them, you know, make their stats better. But let's get going. Let's get going. I'm hyped to see this new wild area, you guys. Making our way off the train station right here, we have actually something very cool. If you talk to this guy on the right and this girl on the left, it depends which game you guys had. If you had Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, you talk to the one on the left. Eevee, you talk to the one on the right. If you had Pikachu, they're going to give you Pikachu. If they had Eevee, they're going to give you Eevee. If you have both, you can get a both, which is awesome. So we received a Pikachu considering I have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, which is just awesome. So there we go. I, I don't know if that's the only way to get a Pikachu or Eevee, or is it if it's just like a simple way to get it, but there we go. We got Pikachu in our Pokedex, and why am I sitting down? I'm ready to head outside here and go to the brand new wild area. Oh my god, guys, let's go. Let's go. I'm here. I'm going to explore it all. We're going to get going into that new city over there across the way, but oh my lord. Oh my lord, dude. I am so hyped. It's like Pokemon on steroids over here. Let's get it. Let's make our way down here. Look at Hop. Hop's just chilling here. We're going to check it out. Look at that. Dude, this is incredible. This is just incredible. That's Motor Stoke. Way off that way. That's where we got to have to head to towards. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. And out comes Sophia over here. The lady that gave us our Pokedex. And she's going to tell us all this good stuff over here talk to us let's see she's gonna give us anything but dude i'm ready to just go explore this whole new wild area there are dynamax dens and all that we're gonna go tackle a few of those capture a lot of pokemon train up but the crazy thing about all this is you can encounter level 50 pokemon like lucario right off the bat but you can't catch them because your gym uh the more gyms you beat then you can catch higher pokemon and battle them more so you can encounter them and they'll just whoop on you so you got to be careful around here too not to run into some pokemon that are too strong but there we go she gave us a pokemon box link what does this do it's a device that allows you to access pokemon storage oh so we can access storage without even being in the poke centers anymore that is good that is awesome guys let's get it let's go dude i'm hype dude let me go just let me go sophia <laughs> I've been waiting months for this. Ever since they announced it, all I went through was go into the wild area and explore all this. It's just crazy. Bruh. Bruh, dude. Let's go. Come on. Yes, dude. It's literally a 3D adventure. We got an Onyx right there. Jeez, he's a big boy. And of course, it's raining right off the bat. But look at this. We got a nice little berry tree right here. Oh, I found a note on the ground. Oh, uh, they're just like uh, little notes that tell you how to play and stuff. Things that we already know. We're going to this berry tree right here. There's a Winkle over there. Oh my god, we're going to shake this berry tree. Get a few berries off of this for later. Let's see. A cherry tree, one berry. We're going to shake it again. How many times can we shake this? We're going to shake it one more time. Oh no, that's why you don't shake it enough. What is this? A Squove <laughs> popped out of this tree right here. We're going to send out Grookey. But dude, it's raining. That is crazy. <laughs> Why does it have to rain right off the bat? We're going to get whooping on this thing. We're going to go with our Razor Leaf to get us started right here. Get whooping. Then we're going to be catching some Pokemon, exploring this wild area, and then heading over to the Motor Stoke, which is the next place where this first gym is actually at. Well, we're going to Razor Leaf you up. Good thing we're set on potions and all that. We got potions, antidotes, and all that. Oh, I thought we crit it. Come on, come on. What you want? Yo, jeez. Hit me up. I wish Grookey had like an absorber or something so I could heal up while battling at the same time. But now we chill. We got branch poke. Just stabbing him. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a squirrel that hopped out the tree. I guess that's why you don't shake it that much. And look at our team right here. We got Grookey, Rookity, and Choodle. And Pikachu's just like a side guy right here. But Choodle did level up. Let's go. All the berries went away. Look at this. We got Wingles. Look, this is a Max Dynamax stand over here. What else we got over here? Should I catch a Wingle? Dude, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. All the Wingles are out because it is raining. It's actually like, um... Depending on the weather, depends what Pokemon comes out. But let's check out this. 
thing right here. There's a bit of energy trickling out of the den. It's 50W, so we just get these 50W. You can actually cash it all that in later. What are these? <gasps> Ooh, let's catch one of these. Are these the bunnies? What is it? Penelope? What is this? Yeah, Penelope. Right here, we're going to catch this. If it's a low level, we're going to see. We're going to see. What level is this on? Nine. We're going to catch it. We're going to catch it. We're going to give it a quick little weapons real quick. And then we're going to catch this thing and add it to our Pokedex. Yay. Let's go, dude. Get in this Pokeball. Dude, I don't even know how many Pokemon we're going to be catching here. <laughs> I'm going to catch a good amount here and then move over to the Motorstoke and uh, get continuing on with the main story. But I, this is what I've been waiting for, dude. Just to explore this whole area right here. And our Grookey and Rookie D level up. Actually, our Grookey might be able to evolve in this episode. We need three more levels. Bro, I'm down. Who else wants to get caught? We're going to get this Wingle right here. Come on, we need a Wingle in our thing. <laughs> dude, Wingles are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, throw Grookey out there. He's actually not... Grass won't be super effective because he's part flying, but we're... Hopefully this is killed. We're going to use a Branch Poke. Try to keep him alive here. Ooh, Quick Attack. We need to heal up with our Grookey with a potion after we catch this boy. Give this Pokeball a quick toss. Get in there, Wingle. Get in there. Dude, I just can't wait to have my whole Pokedex filled up and just looking at all the Pokemon I caught. Like, it's just going to be so awesome. But there we go. Catch our second Pokemon in this wild area. Let's continue on. Let's move along down here. Look at everything. Oh, Butterfree. Jeez, what do we... Oh, we found a note on the ground. Blah, blah, blah. It tells us we can move the right stick and all that. But let's go. Look at this. We have a Dynamax Den with a light coming out of it, which means we can actually do a uh, Gigamax battle right here. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. You, whatever Pokemon it is, you can actually catch after that. What is that? Is that a bunny? Dude, leave me alone. What is that? Oh my god, it's coming after me. I don't want you. I don't want you. I want to check this Dynamax Den. There's energy pouring from the den. It's 300W. And what do we got here? We got a max raid battle. And what kind of Pokemon is that? It's a one-star battle. So we're just gonna we're just not gonna invite anybody else and we're just gonna use the computer to fight with us. So we don't have to go online and all that and deal with all that stuff. But let's go, dude. Our first max raid battle. Are you kidding? What is that? I forget his name. It's Timber. That's what it is. It is Timber. If we defeat him, we get the chance to catch him. And we're going to send out our Grookey. Can we Dynamax right off the bat? This is my first one. He uses Intimidate. Or no, Quillfish had Intimidate. Ooh! Dynamax Energy. How do we do it? How are we going to Dynamax? Info. Let's hit this info. I don't know how to Dynamax, but maybe if we just attack... Oh no, here's the Dynamax button. We're gonna hit that Dynamax button and use Max Over Overgrowth. Oh my lord, on this timber. Let's get it. Dynamax time. Big boy Grookey. Big boy. <laughs> Yo, let's go. He's enormous. <laughs> Look at my boy Grookey. Gains a bunch of health, dude. He's huge. <laughs> get him. Get him! Grookey used max overgrowth. Yeah. Jeez. That did like nothing, but still, this guy has tons of health. We're just gonna keep whooping on him. Oh, what did this do? Put like a roar around us? Grass grew to cover the battlefield. Okay, so now our grass attacks will do more damage, but we got all these guys whooping on this timber over here. He used max rock ball. What is this? This got Oh, it's. Jeez! Dude, these moves are crazy. And now what is that? A sandstorm? Jeez. Let's go. Everybody get him. Let's go. Whoop on him. Let's go. We got to bring him down to like... Well, well we got to actually kill him and then we get the chance to catch him. So let's get it. Down goes to Timber, ladies and gentlemen. It took us a little bit. These max raid battles actually take a lot of time up here. But the Pokemon is weak. Now we have a chance to throw a Pokeball. We're going to go for the catch right here. And catch this Timber after we defeat it in these max raid battles. They take a pretty good amount of time. Not gonna lie, but we... Yo, look at this giant Pokeball. He hucks this thing with two hands. He's like... <laughs> hucks that bad boy out there. And we're gonna try to catch this Timber right here. Let's see. Come on. One wiggle. Two wiggles. <laughs> Show me three. Come on. Give me the click. Give me the click. Let's go. Our first max raid battle capture. Let's go. Timber was caught. He's gonna go into our Pokedex. Now we can keep exploring this wild area and all that. But look at all the... Look, we get candies and all this. We got TMs and stuff. Citrus berries. Ooh, you get some mean rewards for this. Let's go. Now that we have finished up our first max raid battle, we can actually just keep exploring. This is what I'm planning on doing. Exploring, catching different Pokemon that we haven't caught before and all that. Oh my god, dude, we almost ran into a Pelipper. The ones that are not glowing, like big, you can actually just walk up there and grab Watts and stuff. What are these things? 
What is this? Oh, I want one of these. It's a little panda thing, but I don't know. I feel like this thing's gonna have a nice high level right here. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna send out Grookey. He's actually getting ready to evolve. What do you need? Three more levels, buddy? Yeah, you do. It's a Pancham level 10. We're actually gonna hit it with a Razor Leaf and actually try to catch this bad boy. Let's go. You Rip him up. Rip him up. One more Razor Leaf, then we can hug that Pokeball. Let's go. Give me that. Give me that. Get in there. Come on, yo. Dude, we catch it everything, dude. <laughs> I just gotta like not stray off from like the main little area the middle right there because then that's when all the big Pokemon come out and all that Like you can see like Lucario's um Corviknight's like level 50 Pokemon come out Steelix. It's crazy But there we go. We get Pancham inside of our Pokedex. So now we're just gonna keep moving along We're just gonna um We're just gonna send in the box. Yeah, get out of here Pancham We're gonna go grab this den these Watts in these den right here and see if we got any other Pokemon we can catch around here you can actually spend these watts with people like near bridges. What do we got? Pan champs. Oh, lots of pan champs. Jesus. What is up with all these pan champs? We got a berry tree. I want a new Pokemon. There's Wingles. More pan champs. This is like the pan. Oh, what's this? Let's check what this is. It. Oh, a Nuzleaf. We already got a seed out. We're not even going to worry about him. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Let's go around back towards this side and stay on this main path over here. Because we just got, what do we get? You got pan champs over here and Wingles. Like, get out of my face. I don't want any of you guys. I caught you already. <gasps> Dicklets and rock and rollers. I want them both. <laughs> Let's catch them both. We're going to catch them both right here. Oh, yeah. Branch poking. Yeah. No. Okay, I thought it was going to kill. That's fine. We'll take that. And we're just going to throw a Pokeball at him. He evolves. Rock and roll evolves into Gigalith. And he is nasty. Big boy. And right, we're gonna get these Pokeballs out. We have 16. Well, are we gonna use them all? Oh my god, we're gonna catch so much stuff. Let's go get in here. The good thing about the newer games is you get experience for catching Pokemon. Like the old games, you would catch a Pokemon and get nothing for it. You would just get the Pokemon. But it's nice that you get experience, so like you can level up while catching all the Pokemon now. There we go, level 14 Grookey. I think we're gonna evolve them today. Wingle, I don't really care about you. <laughs> but we can go catch a Diglett now. Come on, boy, we're getting ourselves a Diglett, dude. I remember when I first played Leaf Green, I found a shiny Diglett. I was so young. I didn't even know what it was. Oh, uh, I was like, what's, why is this game broken? Why does he have a black nose? <laughs> I, was, I was just like, they usually have like pink noses. <laughs> but there we go. We catch ourselves a Diglett. We can keep moving along with this wild area and exploring some more. Guys, check this out. So this, see this Wingle, how it has shiny, it's like, has like a gold glow to it. Those are actually like rarer Pokemon, so that means they have two perfect IVs, which are their, means two of their stats are really like at max height right there. But you can actually get a perfect IV Pokemon if you like farm them. There's like a certain way in each game in order to do it. But that, you see the gold around it, it means they're the stronger version of that Pokemon. It has two perfect stats. But which way are we going to go? We're going to make our way all the way around towards this way and keep exploring. Oh, we got this den. I want to head over towards this den real quick. <gasps> a bird. I kind of want it. It's a Pidove. Let's get this Pidove. Get over here, Pidove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing was flying. It just like fell down on us. But there we go. We encountered a wild Pidove. We're going to catch this bad boy up too. What's up, Grookey? What level is my Grookey on? I think my Grookey, yeah. My Grookey's on level 14. It's health's going low. So once we uh, actually evolve them, then we'll actually switch out and battle with our either our Chudle or our uh, Rookity right here. Yo, get in there, Pidove. He's not cooler than uh, Rookity. No way. I think Rookity is going to be up there. Like each... Each uh, generation has like a bird and stuff. And I think Rookie is up there with the top one with like Star Raptor and maybe like Talonflame. Like they're awesome ones. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I'm not gonna say now, but right now, um, this is up there in the Pokemon games. <laughs> so far, it's phenomenal. There's that Gold Wingle chilling over there. We're actually gonna hit up this real quick at this 50 watt. And I'm actually gonna head over here and do another Max Raid battle. Let's go into this corner and see what Pokemon we can actually capture here. Or do I see any other Pokemon that I haven't caught yet? Let's go over here and see what Pokemon is. Oh, Roselia. I'd rather catch a Badoo. Just like the first stage. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> I like to catch the first stages. But let's go. We got energy pouring out from here. We have 300 watts. Oh, is that a Noibat? Is that a Noibat? Let's get in here and do this max raid battle. I think it's a Noibat. Noivern's first stage. But a small flying and dragon. Right? Come on. Who we got? Who we got? Yeah, it's Noibat. <laughs> What kind of noise is that? Jeez. What's his problem? We're going to Dynamax our Grookey once again and get whooping on this Noibat right here. Boy. This 
Noibat just crit it on my Dynamax Grookey. Are you kidding me? He just murked on him. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you kidding me? Now we gotta bring out our other Pokemon and get whooping on this fool right here. There we go. We took out the Noibat, but come to find out, since my Grookey fainted, you just have to take a turn off with no Pokemon, and then your your Pokemon will be revived in the middle of the battle. Okay, I didn't know that. So my Grookey fainted, and then if you took a turn off, you just cheered on the other teammates right here. And then my Grookey came back to life, and we just whooped on this Noibat. And now we have the chance to catch it right here. We threw our Pokeball. Let's see if we can get it. Come on, we need three giant shakes. Yeah, two. Come on, come on, show me three. Give me the clicky clicky. Clicky clicky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Catch ourselves a Noibat. This is actually a really good catch. Noivern is strong. He's a very strong Pokemon, especially for post-game and like online battles. But look at all the stuff we got. Rare bones and all this. And we got a Dragon Claw. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, guys, right next to this Dynamax den, we got ourselves a TM. What do we got? Tail Slap. We got Tail Slap up in here. But why is it still raining here? I'm not a fan of that. Why is it raining? I want a nice little sunny adventure today. And of course, it's pouring out. And we got a bunch of winkles flying around because there's rain. <laughs> but we're going to start making our way towards that exit over there or to the uh, Motor Stoke City over here. We're still going to be catching Pokemon just floating around here. This is awesome. But you can always come back here anytime. There's like different wild areas. There's the giant Pelipper. I'm hoping we find something like ridiculously strong. Like not even the battle, it just to, like see it. Like a Lucario or something to pop up. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to see any Pokemon that I haven't caught yet. I saw that Onix over there, but I think he's rather stronger. But we could probably whoop on him with a, just a Grookey. Oh, we got this guy over here. I believe he sells stuff. Let's talk to him real quick with the Watts and all that. I know he, he's here. He, you can actually buy the like, cooking ingredients for the curry and all that. But we don't want to do that right now. We're just going to keep chilling, walking around, seeing what we got. Come on, show me something other than Wingles. I'm getting sick of Wingles. <laughs> it's because it's raining. There's another gold Wingle. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, at first I thought the gold ones were shinies. Oh, dang. It's a Diggers B, dude. He's pretty big. He's a pretty big boy. There's another max raid battle, which I'm just going to be skipping for right now. We'll, we'll actually get to that later. So we got over here. Here's a den. I'm actually going to go collect the Watts in here. Let's get, oh, dip. I don't even know what that was. But we're going to actually collect the Watts here. So we get, we get the 50 Watts. There's another big battle right there. I'm going to be doing Dynamax battles like off screen maybe. Or a little bit more like during post game. We're just gonna keep going around here. Look at dude, why so many wingles? Insect like, oh, a haunter! I'd rather catch a ghastly. I'm not I don't think I should fight him. <laughs> we got here. More wingles. There's a is that a gold? Yep, that's a gold one. It's a gold bundle bee. Padoves. <laughs> this is awesome. But yeah, the Pokemon change on the weather, so if it gets more like sunny and all that, it would be better for me to like catch some more Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Rain went away, which is cool. And we made it to a different little area. We're going to collect the Watts right here. And I'm going to actually head around this lake. Go maybe over there or a little bit to the right here. What do we got? What is that? What, oh, these are Pan Champs. There's a little Pan Champs. What is this? It's an Oddish. Guys, this Oddish is actually a beast. It was level 15. That's higher than my Grookey. He actually did some good damage to my Grookey and to my Rookie right here. But we got him down. We're going to try to catch him even though he's level 15. Like, jeez, dude. Like, yo, it was just an Onish. I was expecting, like, a level level 5 Onish right here. And this thing comes out level 15. Starts murking on my team right here. But we do catch him. But now we got to use some potions to actually heal up our boys right here. Yo, there's an Axe to here. <laughs> We're going to head down this way real quick. <gasps> a Gravantula? We can't catch him. Dude, he's huge. I love those guys. I wish there was, like, a Joltik here or something. I was going to head down there, but we can't head down there. We have to actually go all the way around. But I feel, I feel like there's stronger Pokemon over there. But we got more Pan Champs chilling here. What is that? That's an Oddish. I ain't messing with you again, Oddish. We already caught you. What are you? More Pan Champs over here. We got more ra Max Raid Battles chilling right here. We're just going to scoop around here. Oh, we got a little shiny thing. Let's see what we got here. A Revive chilling here. Perfect. This is actually the way we want to go. But we're going to do it in just a second. We're going to complete up. Well, not complete anything. We're just going to explore a little bit more of the wild area before we actually head over there. But let's go. Oh, can we fish here? I think we can fish if we... Hit X or something. Yeah, you can just fish, right? Whenever you see bubbles and stuff. Let's see what we get. Come on, what we got? Come on. I put some good gulp on this nice big worm right here. What we get? Show me a Gyarados. <laughs> a Magikarp, boy. We got ourselves a Magikarp, which I would actually love to catch right here. But I can't branch poke it or use a grass move. It will just die instantly. So we're just going to give it a quick scratch up real quick. And then we're going to catch it and throw it into our party box. 
Get in here, Magikarp. Get in here. How many have we caught today? We're catching a good amount. Let's keep looking around. We're gonna, after we catch this Magikarp right here, whoo, beautiful. I would love to put a Gyarados on my team, but like I said, I like to put new Pokemon on my team, which is just nice. But we're actually gonna keep looping around this lake right here. Our bundle be leveled up. That's all good. Oh yeah, dude, the wild area, dude. This is the best. This is the best. What is that? What is that? <gasps> oh, what are these called? These are the little bear Pokemon. I love them. They're so adorable. <laughs> Look at them. It's a stuffle. I want one. I think this thing's got to be like level 20. I just have a weird feeling. Hopefully not. 15. That's still pretty strong. We're going to give him a nice quick Rageley. It's second stage, but where is a beast, dude? Guys, we are sitting at 3 HP. This stuffle's giving us a run for our money. We're going to risk it with this Pokeball right here. One more level, our Grookey's going to level up or evolve. Come on. Catch it. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was going to pop out. We haven't had a Pokemon pop out on us yet. So we're still chilling, which is nice. But we got to heal up our Grookey. Dude, one more big battle and we'll be chilling with our Grookey. Evolved. I don't even know what it is. Pikachu, uh, do you want to learn this move? Yeah, you can learn a new move. I don't care. <laughs> I hear more Oddishes and stuff. I don't really want them. <laughs> Here's more Panchams. What's this little pillar over here? What is that? Oddishes, Panchams, Pidoves. Anything else? Anything new? Oh, we got a little snowy area. We'll do Big Diggers B. I ain't messing with him. The big Pokemon, they spawn like in these open areas. While all the other ones usually spawn in the grass. I think that's how it goes. What is that? A Tadpole and Snow Runts. Tadpoles and Snow Runts, right? This is called Tadpole. Timpole. Okay, let's catch them both. Give me this big dog. Get in here. Dude, I love just catching Pokemon. I don't know, dude. It's so much fun. It's just such a, like, nice feeling. It, like, it's satisfying catching all of them. But let's go. We got Timpole. Let's head on to that snow run. Oh, our boy Grookey leveled up. He's gonna evolve. Our boy Grookey's gonna evolve. Let's see this. I never even saw the uh, evolution animation yet. <gasps> My boy, bye, Grookey. It was fun having you here. Oh my god! I don't even know what the next stage is named. Look at our boy! He turned like a nice lime green. Congratulations to Grookey Bob and the Thwacky. My boy Thwacky in the house, ladies and gents. <laughs> Check this out. Our Thwacky wants to learn double hit. Let's get rid of Scratch right here. I'll say, screw you, Scratch. You're out of here. <laughs> and our boy, he looks shiny, doesn't he? Like, that just, that just looks like the color a Grookey would be if he was shiny. But there we go. We got our second evolution, which is awesome. And we're going to register Timpo into our thing. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. Let's get this snow run here. We're actually running low on Pokeballs. We're down to eight, I believe. So we're actually going to have to get heading over to the city just after this. And then maybe we can see if we can catch any more Pokemon on our way back. And then go continue on with the main mission. But Rookity leveled up, which is nice. We're actually going to switch, uh, I think, Rookity to our top spot right here over Thwacky. Onward to the main story. Oh, we got the snow cone guy. Do I catch the snow cone guy? No, we'll save him for later. We're just going to go on to the main story. What are these guys? More snow runs and all that. I like the ice area. We got Snowvers, though. Oh, my God, dude. I love this game so much already. <laughs> We're actually going to come back to the wild area. Maybe in the next episode or later in this video. And catch some more Pokemon and do all that good stuff. But let's keep moving along with the main mission. We're going to head right up these stairs to Motorstoke. Which is this place over here where the first gym actually is. Let's head up it. Dude, look at this place. It's phenomenal. We got this nice little loading screen. I like the loading screen. It kind of shows like the map and all that good stuff. But let's keep heading. Let's keep heading. I don't even know how many wild areas there are, but that one's phenomenal. We didn't even explore it close to it all. We'll probably do it after, uh, in the next episode. Because I would like to beat the gym and all that, and then come back and we can train in the grass and all that. Get some new Pokemon, because we'll be higher level and all that stuff. We got my boy Thwacky, which is the second stage of Grookey, which I'm loving, dude. I can't wait to evolve my Rookity and my Choodle. I got my Rookity in the top spot right now. So he can actually get some loving. We can actually battle with him and all that, level him up. And do you guys know if Pokemon level up quicker if you just uh, put them in the front spot by fighting with them? But we're going to head over here towards the Pokemon Center. And go over here. Look at that little poster of Choodle to the left. He was biting something. But we got Sonya over here. She's going to tell us all this good stuff. And we're just going to keep mashing A out of this. <laughs> but we're going to head inside this Pokemon Center. Which she's actually going to teach us about all the other things. like Kind of like how Hop did. But in a little bit more detail. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon right here, and then we're going to get moving along here. Let's see this. Look how cool this looks. Dude, they make it better and better every single time. <laughs> Dude, look at Thwacky. Long, tan, and handsome over there. 
<laughs> and he has two sticks instead of one. That's how you know Grookey evolved. He has two sticks now instead of one, which is actually hilarious. We're actually going to get moving along here. Sonia's out here. So brilliant young trainer who's brave the wild area. Do you remember what your goal is in the Motorstoke area? Yeah, I do. We're here to challenge the gym. Yep, the gym, gym challenge open ceremony. Of course. Let's go, dude. That's why we're here. We're actually going to head up this way and actually move forward over here because there's like a lift system over there. Why are we still following her? I think she's going to tell us that. Let's see what she says. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motorstoke Stadium, okay? You got it. You got it. So it's tomorrow, so we have to wait a day in order to do that. So we're going to head up on this lift over here, and she says, Well, later, so I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium. Okay? Okay, so that's what exactly what we're going to do. We're going to register for the gym challenge for tomorrow's battle. So let's head up over to that lift, like she said, and go register for it. Let's go. Dude, this place, like, look at this city, too. I didn't even get a chance to talk about this yet, dude. The cities look phenomenal, dude. Big 3D world cities in Pokemon, which is awesome. Well, what's, what's, what was that? What was that sound? Charizard! <laughs> and my boy Leon, what's up? I surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Jeans, all right. Wait, you know way you were following us. <laughs> One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. What is it? A miracle seed. Okay, we're going to give it to Grookey, which will actually boost his grass type moves. Yes. Awesome. So our Grookey or our Thwacky is going to be even stronger. Dang, dude, I already missed Grookey. I, I actually got an Everstone from that Ragamrola. I should have actually gave it to Grookey so he can never evolve. <laughs> but let's go over to the stadium right here. Talk to my boy Hob and go register for the gym battle. Bro, look at this place. <laughs> they just made every single detail just phenomenal in this game. Like, everything is just awesome. I'm curious if all the gym challenges are taking place here. Or just the grass or just the first one. I'm still curious about that. So, there's still some things that obviously I don't know. But let's go. We're actually going to register. What is this? What? What's this lady's problem? <laughs> well, let's go. Let's register for the gym challenge for tomorrow's gym challenge. So we actually have to wait a day. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, I cannot wait. I heard the uh, the gym challenges. I heard like in the stadium and all that. They look beautiful. I heard like the battles and just the scenery and all that. It's just awesome. But let's go. Cool. So when we registered for the gym, they actually get, are giving us a uniform. So we had to give them a uniform number. I picked 25. That's my number. It's my favorite number. I always were playing sports and all that, but we make our way outside here, and he, then we got this guy. You must be a challenger, Jeans. The Badoo drop in is down the way. If you would be so kind to follow me. Okay, so we're going to stay at the Badoo drop in, which is a hotel or something because the challenge isn't until tomorrow. So they gave us a nice little place to stay, so we're going to head over there to the Badoo drop in and go inside here. It is right over here, I believe, yes. Challenger Jeans, we have a ride to the Badoo drop in. Let's go. I love that name. I love play on words. Badoo drop. <laughs> Let's go. Making our way to this hotel right here. We're going to head inside and see what's going on in there. Let's get it. Let's go. Do 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 do. What we got? Ooh, look at this. What's that statue of? Now, I thought it was like going to be some cool looking Pokemon, but it's like a gladiator. Cool looking gladiator over here. Hi, it looks like you both got yourselves registered. Of course. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching a mysterious Pokemon that is said to be in the Slumber and Wield. Ooh, that's the legendary Pokemon that we saw in the first episode. It's the sword Pokemon Zacian, or if you're playing Shield, it's Zamazeta. I like those names. They're pretty cool names. But this is a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. Okay, so that's why he's so, like, well, has his own statue and all that. But look, he has a blue orb in, in his sword and, the, and another one in his shield. So that might be a reference to sword and shield because the blue... Blue boxes with sword and the pink ones with shield, which is cool. I think that's cool. Let's go. Look at Jeans finding little Easter eggs or like little hints. Let's head up here and go check into our place right here. What is this? What is this? What was this? Oh, this is the team. This is like Team Aqua and all that. Their team, it's Team Yell. That's awesome. So these are like the rival little guys right here. And we're going to probably have to battle them. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell is all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win a gym challenge. That That is. We want to make sure you, 
she gets cheered on nice and proper and now you're gonna help us make some noise oh we got a battle we got our first battle with team yell is a team yell grunt so this is like the team rocket team aqua and all them all that good stuff and look they got a galarian zigzagoon right here and we got our boy rookie out here what level are these punks on okay we got thwacky if all else fails level nine we're chilling we got level 14 rookie right here we're gonna go with our uh with our peck right here right off the bat rookie is hilarious he just goes up yeet. give him a quick little stab well there we go take out half his health he's gonna give us a nice big tackle here it's all right dude rookie he's chilling he's chilling or she's chilling. It's a female one. <laughs> Come on, take it out. Let's go. There's the first go. Is that his only Pokemon? We'll see in a second. Yo, we gained some XP points right here. I want to use my Chudo a little bit too. Okay, but that was his only Pokemon. Did we have to battle any other Team Yell people? Oh, but he gave us some cash. He gave us some mean cash right there. Did we got to first all four of these people? Let's see. I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we do. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's get it. Send out Nickit right here, which is a dark type. It, I thought we saw it was fire when I first saw it. I was like, this is a fire type Pokemon right here. But they can't use berries due to our ability right here. Let's go. Let's go, Rookie D. We're just going to give him the, another peck, dude. I haven't used Power Trip yet. Both of these uh, Pokemon were uh, not very effective to it. So we're just going to keep pecking up here. Yeah. Well, I'll take it down to pass half. Yeah, let's go. We could probably peck it up one more time. And finish it off here. I would love to use a uh, Choodle. But these guys just have one Pokemon and a Rookity's just slamming through. So we'll probably use Choodle either in this episode or in the next one. Oh, that was a like poo-poo experience. Got like nothing for that. There we go. Defeated that grunt right there. We got two more left. Well, I'm thinking two more left. Let's see. Red. Because we only face off against two unless they're just going to uh, say get out of here. And what we got Hop doing here? Oh, he's healing us up. Okay, we got two more people. Hop's healing us up real quick. I guess we got to take off on these next two people. Or are they done with us? Or are we doing a two battle? Hmm. Oh, yeah, dude. A tag team battle. Me and Hop right here. He's probably going to send out the score bunny. Unless he evolved it to a reboot yet. But I doubt it. I sent out Rookity. Who did he send out? His Wooloo. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's get it. Dude, we're going to whoop on these fools. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fluffy the Wooloo is. It's hilarious. I'm going to go after the uh, Nicket real quick. And try to take that or take it down at least half health. This Nicket's going to quick attack on the Wooloo. <laughs> he just has a level 10 Wooloo. Get out of my face. Mmm, mean peckings. Mean peckings. Wooloo's going to tackle the Galarian Zigzagoon. Do some work over there. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to take out the Nicket with... Uh, what do I got? Fury Swipes? Yeah, let's use that move. We haven't used it yet or even like seen the uh, action in battle. So I'm down to use it. Let's use it. Fury is it Fury Swipes, right? Yeah. Who's Quick Attack? Nick it again is using Quick Attack, and that's always going to strike first. Let's go. <gasps> he avoided it? Are you kidding me? Get him, Wooloo. Take him out. Boy, dude. Are you kidding me, Wooloo? Going to take him out there. You hunk of jug. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fight this. He's just, oh, it's Fury Attack. It's not Fury Swipes. So it's just one straight attack, I believe. Yo, why are you hitting me? Does this thing only know? Quick attack? Get out of here. <laughs> Dead. Murk. It was like quick jabs. It was like many pecks right there. Kind of looked like drill pack in the other games. There we go. Gain XP points. Your bundle will level up, which I don't really care for. He wants to learn Mud Shot. No, we're not even going to waste our time with it because I'm not even going to ever use Bundle B or Diggers B. And if we do want to learn it, we can always go back to those new things right there. There you go. Take a nice little tackle. I love Wooloo's tackle animation. He does like a roll. <laughs> but we're going to finish off. This tag team battle and all these grunts right here with this peck right here. Boop, boop. Oh, that was a double peck. You see that? Did that always animate like that? I was like, boop, boop. <laughs> but let's go. Not too much experience gain here, but still, we'll take it. Let's get it. Finish off all the team yell grunts, which is pretty cool. I like how they always have the new teams and stuff like team rocket, team yell and all that. I always like them. Always like puts a little extra into the game. But let's go. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. <laughs> Let's go. Who is this? Oh, I think this is the lady that they like. Yeah, this is the lady that they're helping train or like cheer on during the challenge and all that. Her name's Marnie. Is that what it said? Marnie. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and Follow. Okay, so yeah, so those are people. She doesn't even like really care for them and all that. 
But yeah, like I said in the beginning, this game is more about not like having rivals and all that good champions. We have multiple people who want to go and beat the champion all that. And we're all like grouping together and all that. Trying to collect as many Pokemon as we can. Trying to defeat the gym challenges and move it along. There we go. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in next episode, we are probably going to be heading back to the wild area, catching Pokemon, and defeating the first gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.